You useless and troublesome child. Why didn't you send money to me and Neil last month? Do you want to keep that money for yourself? That is my hard-earned money. I have to use that money to pay for my tuition as well. Neil is grown up now. He should find a job too. What are you studying anyway? Didn't I tell you that studying is just a waste of time? I don't agree with you continuing your education. Don't daydream anymore. I earn money for my education on my own. I didn't ask mom for it. Why are you preventing me from doing it? Your responsibility is to take care of your younger brother. If you're so useless, then quit school early. Don't let me know that you're still trying to go to school. Mom, that's unreasonable. Neil has grown up. He will learn how to take care of himself. Besides, you're the one who should be responsible for him. Why are you putting it on me? You've no right to argue with me. As the older sister, you should take care of your younger brother. Did I teach you to be irresponsible? Don't you see that Neil is struggling to find a business opportunity? You're the sister, but you want to abandon him to struggle for capital? Are you sure he's doing business? He's using the money to gamble. He's not even interested in studying. How can he run a business? Everyone at the casino knows him. Just go there and ask, and you'll find out right away. You cunning little brat! How dare you falsely accuse your own brother? My good son could never be a gambling addict. You're jealous because I love him more. So you deliberately try to divide the bond between me and my son, right? I'll make you wake up now. Mom, stop it! If you don't believe me, just go to the casino and check it out. He probably withdrew all the money he swindled from you and put it there. Don't cover up for his dishonest deeds. I haven't done anything, and yet you're turning against me like this. You're so unreasonable. If Dad were still alive, he would never accept what you've done to me. Your father is dead. Why are you mentioning him? That wretched and despicable man destroyed my life. You're just like him. Your presence has made me live in misery and disgrace. So it's because you hate Dad that you hate me, right? What did I do wrong? If you hate me so much, why did you even give birth to me? You despicable brat! Who gave you the right to question me? Hasn't my life been miserable enough? Oh my God! Why do I have such a useless daughter like you? Mom, that's enough. I won't send you and Neil another penny. From now on, I'll live for myself only. I have already done so much for this family. You ungrateful child! After all the love and care I gave you, I'll make you repay me for all the money I spent on you. Don't even think about shirking your responsibility. Do you really love me? That's laughable. You always see me as your enemy just because I resemble Dad. You seek me out to unleash your anger whenever you're upset. You're selfish. You only want me to earn money for you and your beloved son to spend. Is that love? I'm already being generous by letting you stay in this house. Don't you dare act defiant with me. If you're stubborn, then don't blame me for going to your school and requesting that you drop out. This house belongs to Dad. You can't kick me out. And you don't have the right to come to my school and cause trouble. If you have a bit of humanity left, please leave me alone. Everything has made me exhausted. I won't let you be at peace. Get ready to pay me back, you damn brat. Otherwise, don't blame me for being ruthless. You haven't sent money to me this month, Ruby. Hurry up and send it before I tell Mom to kick you out of here. You're grown up now, Neil. Take care of your own life. Don't rely on me and Mom anymore. You're my younger brother. How dare you give me orders? You have to send me money. It's your duty as my older sister. Don't try to shirk your responsibility. Mom raised you. Now it's your turn to take care of me. Can't you see how unreasonable that is? You're capable enough to take care of yourself. Don't be lazy anymore. No one will take care of you for the rest of your life. You don't have the right to lecture me. You're just an extra in this house. Mom doesn't have any love for you. 
I'm the only one she cherishes. Then go and ask Mom for money. Why are you bothering me? Mom is old. Where would she get the money from? Don't rely on her for everything. I've already said it. Send me the money so that I can invest it in business. If you delay my plans, it won't end well for you. Business? What other tricks are you playing? Every time you ask for money, you always use this excuse. Aren't you tired of it? I know very well that you just waste the money on having fun and causing trouble. What does an ignorant person like you know? You don't need to question what I do. Just fulfill your duty. I won't send you a single penny anymore. I've said it before. Take care of your own affairs. Don't bother me with your requests. I've worked so hard for every penny I have. You wretch! How dare you defy me and mom like this? I will punish you. Just wait and see. I've made up my mind. You should prepare to quit school and get married. What did mom say? Getting married? I still want to go to school. Besides, I don't even have a boyfriend, let alone thinking about getting married. You don't need to worry. I found a suitable man for you. Start arranging things for the wedding. I've already made the arrangements with him. Is mom out of her mind? Why didn't she ask for my opinion? How can she decide on my marriage like that? I'm your mother, so I have the right to do so. You have to listen to me in order to receive a large sum of money from the family. Your future husband is very wealthy. There's no way I'll accept that. So, Mom agreed because she wants their money, right? Don't you care whether I'm happy or not? Once you become the wife of a rich man, you'll surely be happy, won't you? Stop arguing with me. My decision is final. If you argue with me, I'll throw you out of the house and sever the mother-daughter relationship. Don't threaten me, Mom. I can't accept this ridiculous marriage. If you want to marry that wealthy man, go ahead. I'm not a puppet for you to control. You ungrateful child. Why are you so stubborn? I went through the trouble of finding a worthy man for you to marry, yet you always deliberately go against my wishes. Do you want to make me angry? Think whatever you want, Mom. I absolutely cannot marry that man. I don't know who he is, and I have no feelings for him either. Stop pressuring me, Mom. If you make me feel suffocated, I will move out on my own. Oh my god. Such a selfish child. You are truly the worst. I want what's best for you, yet you deny my kindness. How dare you threaten me by saying you'll move out. I'm ashamed to have given birth to you. Mom, stop your pointless complaints. Do you want what's best for me, or do you want to secure all the money from this marriage? Don't think I don't know your intentions. You're greedy for money, not because you love me. It's ridiculous. How dare you doubt me like that? You're ungrateful. If only I had killed you back then, I wouldn't be suffering like this now. You're so greedy it's insane. From now on, I won't say another word to you. You always find reasons to torment me. In the end, are you really my biological mother? You crazy child. If I didn't give birth to you, would you have been an orphan that I picked up? If that were the case, I would have thrown you out in the street long ago for you to starve and freeze to death. Don't pretend to be pitiful. And yet you treat me so poorly. You're truly beyond reasonable. Take a good look at yourself, Mom. It's not your turn to criticize me. You're an insolent child. Eventually, you'll have to accept and obey my arrangements. Did you take the necklace that Dad bought for me, Neil? Are you gambling again, aren't you? This crazy person. You have nothing else to say to me? You dare to blame me. Only you would do such a thing. Tell me. Where is the necklace? I don't know about any of your necklaces. You misplaced it and now you're blaming me, right? 
You're despicable. How dare you think badly of me like that? I know you always need money, Neil. I recently saw you begging mom for money. Don't think I don't know where that money went. You gambled it all away, didn't you? I know it. Stop making up stories. I'm saving money to import goods to sell. I told you, I'm running a business. You see that I've been busy with work lately, so you're finding excuses to sabotage me, right? You're wicked. Stop making excuses. Everyone knows about your face at the casino. Only mom blindly believes that you're well behaved and need protection. I know you've been gambling for a long time, but when I say it, mom insists that I'm lying. Do you think mom will believe what you say? Ha <laughs> ha! Have you forgotten that she dislikes you a lot? Oh, by the way, have you prepared yourself for marriage? I heard that guy is very rich. Get ready for a mountain of money. Don't waste my time anymore. I won't get married for a long time. Tell me, where is the necklace? Be honest before I report it to the police. Report it to the police? Are you planning to report your own brother? You're so cunning. Blaming your own brother for stealing and wanting to report it to the police. You're not human anymore. I'll tell mom so she can punish you. You stole it and you're still denying it. I'm ashamed to have a brother like you. You're truly despicable. You even stole your own sister's belongings to gamble. Stop falsely accusing me. When you have evidence, then you can accuse me. Otherwise, don't blame me for letting mom punish you with a whip. Fine. Just wait and see. You'll soon have to admit your guilt. She is indeed a wicked woman, Vivian. How could she harm her own biological daughter like that? What did I do? Are you accusing me of causing trouble? You're an unruly child. I caused trouble? You're the one causing trouble? It was you who plotted to harm me. Don't lie. How did I harm you? I could have beaten you any time, but you dare say that I harmed you? What value do you have for me to exploit? Yes, you did. Weren't you trying to force me to marry that wealthy guy? You didn't agree to the marriage. Why are you bringing it up now? Or do you regret it? <laughs> are you any less greedy than me? Stop it. You were the one who put that sleeping pill in my breakfast, weren't you? You set a trap to make me fall into the hands of that wealthy guy and force me to marry him. You're crazy. I don't have time to go through so much trouble. You don't have to pretend to be angry. I know everything. I respect and love you so much, and yet you not only don't care, but you also despise me. You even deliberately almost let me be harmed by that wealthy guy. Don't lie. I'm not that wicked. Although I schooled you, I never intended to harm you in such a malicious way. Enough. Don't try to justify yourself anymore. The more you speak, the more I disgust you. Do you have any evidence to assert that it was me? Do you dare to despise your mother? Remember, I gave birth to you and took care of you. You unruly child! I do have evidence. I found out about your conversation with that guy. You said you would put a sleeping pill in my food to make me unconscious. Then you would call him and take me away immediately. I suspected you before, so I secretly recorded the conversation in your pocket when you had the appointment with that guy. That can't be true. It's absurd. You weren't home to set up a hidden recording device, were you? I saw you leave early. Indeed, I left early. But I deliberately came back a few hours earlier to see what trick you were up to. I couldn't believe my eyes when I discovered the entire wicked plot. This is outrageous. I have never revealed any information about this to anyone. How could you know? Are you sure you haven't told anyone? Have you forgotten about your beloved son? It was your secret conversation with Neil the night before that inadvertently caught my attention. And I guessed it right. You are intentionally plotting against me. 
No. You can't ruin my plan like that. I have prepared meticulously for that moment. I can't let go of the large sum of money that family will pay me. You wretched child. So you admit it, right? You're so greedy that you're willing to sell your own daughter. Aren't you ashamed in front of my father? Ashamed of that scumbag? Stop mentioning him. Even if I die, I won't forgive him for betraying me. My father never betrayed you. It was your blind and crazed jealousy that caused this marriage to fall apart. You were at fault with him. Yet until the very last moment, he kept apologizing for not fulfilling his responsibilities to this family. Am I at fault? What did I do wrong? Don't complain on behalf of your terrible father. You are indeed a wicked woman. You betrayed my father. You had an affair with his closest friend which made him leave without saying goodbye because he couldn't accept that truth. He even knew that Neil is your child with that friend. How dare you falsely accuse me of having an affair? Do you know that you're disrespecting your mother? I have to kill you! Neil is your father's son. There's no mistaking it. Don't pretend to be innocent anymore. Are you sure Neil is your husband's son? Or is he the son of that guy? It's impossible. You're talking nonsense. How can you be so sure? Do you have any evidence? How? I found my father's diary when I visited our old family home. I read everything he wrote in it. He also mentioned that he had a paternity test done and confirmed that Neil is not his son. That's why he left, because he couldn't accept this truth. You're lying. I only had a few encounters with that close friend. He said he wouldn't impregnate me. Are you fabricating stories to make me feel guilty? Do you believe the words of that deceitful man? Then go and have him take a paternity test. Do you know what makes me hate you even more? You always criticize my father while you betray him. But my father doesn't resent you. He even left a savings account divided equally between me and Neil. He wrote that Neil is an innocent child in this matter. Do you see that you are the worst person? You're making up stories. I will never believe it. You're a despicable person. You ungrateful daughter. If you really don't believe me, then go ahead and get Neil and that guy tested. I have the proof right here in my hands, in our father's own handwriting. I can show you his diary entries, and you can see the truth with your own eyes. It's time to face the reality, Vivian. You're just a damn child trying to deceive me. How dare you accuse your own father. I'm not the one who portrayed anyone here. Your father is the real scumbag for hiding this from us all these years. Vivian, your anger and denial won't change the truth. It's time for you to let go of your hatred. It's not doing any good for anyone. Especially not for yourself. Prepare yourself to face that cruel truth that has been hidden for so long. It's time to confront reality and find a way to move forward. Pray for your father? After all this? I don't think I have any prayers left in me. But I will face the truth, even if it breaks me. And if what you say is true, then I'll have to come to terms with the fact that the man I loved and trusted for so long was not who I thought he was. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but I won't let it consume me. Confess, Neil. I have evidence that you stole my things. Stop threatening me. You're careless with your belongings and you blame me. Do you need money for gambling that you can do anything? You've embarrassed me. You're pathetic. Don't think that I'm kind enough for you to bully me. I didn't steal anything from you. Maybe you gave the money to another guy and now you're blaming me. Is there anything you won't dare to say? And now you're blaming me. I witnessed you rummaging through my belongings. Don't deny it. 
Do you have any evidence to blame me? I'll let mom know so she can break your leg. I knew you would steal again, so I secretly installed a camera in my bedroom. I have footage of you rummaging through my belongings and then carefully rearranging them so I wouldn't notice. Did you sell my necklace? You... That's impossible. Mom is always at home. How could you install a camera? You're trying to trap me, aren't you? Why would I need to trap you? Mom is always at home? She's not what you think, Neil. Besides gambling and extravagant shopping, she also has a tendency to cheat. Stop lying! How dare you falsely accuse my mom? How dare you insult her like that? Haha, <laughs> maybe you're right. I mean, who am I to expect you to understand? You're not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. What? What are you even talking about? You can't just throw out accusations like that. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you actually believe that you're our father's biological child. That's just laughable. And let me enlighten you with the truth. You see, mom had a little affair with her lover. And guess what? You're the living proof of it. Dad's diary spilled all the beans, my friend. So while you and mom have been busy criticizing and blaming dad, it turns out she's the real traitor in this story. This is ridiculous. You're making this up to get under my skin. I'm not falling for your lies. You really think I'd make up something like this just to mess with you? Oh, Neil, you're even more clueless than I thought. Go ahead, ask mom about everything. I guarantee you'll be in for a rude awakening. Fine, I will. And when I find out you're lying, you'll regret ever opening your mouth. Go ahead, Neil. Asking mom is the best way to confirm the truth. But let me warn you, it's not going to be pretty when you realize what you've been blind to all these years. You're in for a real shock, my friend. Shut up! You think you're so clever, don't you? Well, once the truth is revealed, I'll make sure you pay for every word you've said. You won't be able to hide behind your lies anymore, you wretched creature. Oh, Neil, you really don't get it, do you? I have evidence against you, remember? I can send you straight to jail for theft. And guess what? You're not just my brother, you're my half-brother with a different father. So enjoy your temporary peace before you discover the whole truth. Good luck with that, Neil. <laughs> just you wait. I'll show you who the real winner is in the end. You won't get away with this. After revealing the truth, my mother couldn't deny it any longer. She agreed to a blood test to confirm Neil's lineage, and it shattered her expectations. Neil turned out not to be our father's biological child, contrary to what his diary claimed. The revelation left my mother shocked, realizing the pain she had caused my father. She approached me with remorse, seeking forgiveness for her mistakes. However, forgiveness felt out of reach at that moment. I needed time to process the betrayal and come to terms with everything. Neil was hit hard by the revelation. He was shocked and furious with his mother for hiding such a significant secret. Unable to face her or his swirling emotions, he made the tough choice to temporarily leave home. It was his way of finding solace and clarity away from the chaos. Before leaving, Neil returned the necklace he had taken as a symbol of his remorse and a promise to change his ways. Amidst the emotional roller coaster, I found solace in my father's old house in the peaceful countryside. It became my sanctuary for healing and rebuilding my life. Determined to move forward, I made plans to continue my studies and pursue my dreams. Though the journey wasn't easy, I held on to hope for a brighter future. Fate had its surprises. And not long after, I met an incredible person who brought joy and stability into my life. Our connection grew stronger and we decided to officially start dating. Together, we faced life's challenges with love and support, embracing the promise of a better tomorrow. In the end, the truth unraveled a web of lies, leaving lasting scars. However, it also opened the door to healing, growth, and new beginnings. Life had its own plans, and amidst the chaos, I found strength, resilience, and the opportunity to rewrite my story.